Alright, welcome back to your story. This noise just drives you insane. I definitely need to get a bat box here and get more power as soon as possible. But it is going quite nicely. It's nearly completely done. And now what I can head upstairs and do is do what somebody suggested. Now what I was going to do to get all of the power out of my M MFE, <laughs> you got the name already, was to basically craft a whole heap of cables and then pass it down into a new MFE. Now there is a much better solution and the solution won't even cost me an extra MFE to build. All I need to do is charge up my electric wrench and head to my auto crafting system. I'm not sure if it can make them anymore but I know it definitely used to. So let me see. Oh it can. Okay now are there any in supply? We've got Four of them. Wonderful. I'll request all of them, thank you very much. And I'll simply drain the power with energy crystals. Now, I don't know if that's enough to actually drain an MFE. I've never really used energy crystals very often. But I know they can hold quite a bit, but compared to a Lapatron crystal, I don't think four is going to do the trick. So how hard is it to make a Lapatron crystal? Two electronic circuits? I can do that. In fact, that's probably the better solution. So let's see, I've actually got some lapis on me anyway. So here we are, I've got tons of it. And two electronic circuits is far too easy with my automated crafting system. So let's just see here. Go ahead and craft two of those. Now I'm probably going to have to craft the rubber. So it will actually be quite some time. It's easy for the crafting system to do. That doesn't mean it's quick. Now I'm just going to turn you off because you're draining a lot of power from downstairs. So getting rid of you, definitely going to help me out. Now is the quarry... Okay, the quarry is actually going. I was wondering if it was just standing still using power, which I'm pretty sure is impossible anyway. But I thought I should check. Uh, it still sounds like those macerators are struggling, but I'm sure they're doing a good job. Now, oh, come on, take your time, why don't you? Where's that energy crystal? Yeah, definitely wasn't enough. I probably need about eight to actually drain the thing, which, yeah, most unfortunate. But let's see here. So all I, that's really all it takes? I swear this was so much more expensive. I thought it took advanced electronic circuits or something like that, but I guess not. So as soon as I got this and I take it downstairs, we shouldn't have any trouble with power. So because of that, do we have any other ores in here that I can get rid of? Oh wow, it doesn't actually look like it. Seems like we've smelted everything. That is honestly very surprising. Oh, well there we go. I forgot all about that chest. Let's see, let's just get rid of all of that. And... Okay, my system can't keep up with request this large. There'll be overflow if I attempt this. But I can put the sticky resin into my system, there's no reason not to do that. I'll leave the charcoal there as just a backup, hey, just in case. Now, let's see, I can get rid of the sticky resin straight away and... Really all I can do is get rid of maybe half a stack, any more than that, and we'll probably start running into problems, because that'll make 64 dust, and yeah, I don't want them to start chucking out items all over the floor. Oh, this is a pain. Okay, now if we have the overclocker upgrades, it won't be a problem. So I guess I really should work on them if I've got this many ores to get rid of. Certainly will at some point. But first off, come on, have you made them yet? There we go, okay. So, let's go ahead and upgrade these. Let's see here, energy, actually, can I use the fully charged energy crystal? Will that give me the extra energy? I'm just mainly curious. It's not like it'll waste too much energy anyway, so I'm not too worried. Even if it does downgrade it all the way, it's not a huge problem. So, here we go, upgrade. Oh, what are you doing? Oh yeah, it actually does keep the energy. Awesome. 
One Lapitron Crystal, which probably still isn't enough, but it's a step in the right direction. Oh, what? It won't charge in an MFE. I guess they only charge in M MFSUs. Awesome. That is great. Dang it. Okay, can I craft energy crystals then, perhaps? I'm not sure if I actually have the required things in my system to be able to handle it. But, there we go. Missing 205 diamonds. 1,103 philosopher's stones. Okay. Okay. So if you're wondering what in the world <laughs> just happened, basically, I wouldn't have had the diamonds. So what it would have tried to done is turn gold into diamonds, and in order to do that, it needed heaps of philosopher's stones, and to do that, it needed heaps of glowstone, heaps of redstone, way more than anything I have. So unfortunately it looks like this method isn't going to work just because I don't have the resources and it refuses to take my Lapidron Crystal. But perhaps if I make an MFSU... How expensive are you then? Oh, okay, yeah, that's not, that's not happening. Okay, I guess I will have to cable it at some point and make an extra MFE after all. It was worth a try. But unfortunately, yeah, that, that's not going to happen. In fact, I, I need another crystal for this anyway, because I upgraded it. Can I request one? Will you let me do that? Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. So with that, I'll be able to craft my second MFE. I can grab... Oh, that's done already. Nice. Now I'm going to need a machine block. Thank you. And what was that final thing? Four copper cables? Those should be floating around. Okay, I'm just going to have to craft two of them, which once again means rubber, which once again, unfortunately, means a long wait. Now, what was it I said I was going to do today? The overflow system. That's right. We've got plenty of time, don't worry. I'm sure that it will actually be completed today. I'm just getting a little bit distracted like usual. Anyway, should be fine. Take your time. Maybe I'll skip ahead. Actually, while I wait, I'll follow a viewer's suggestions. It's going to be really sad that I'm making so many videos, but I can't actually respond to all of your comments. I like actually doing what you guys say, unless it's ridiculous. Or, especially when it's ridiculous. Now, where in the world... Hey, what's going on here? You guys okay? That's kind of a major lack of trees. And something might be wrong with the hummus. That's not good. But yes, Philip, you now have a saddle. Ha <laughs> ha! Go! Yeah! Mush! Well, that was incredibly disappointing. I'll wait until he's spinning around on the transmutation tablet, and then I'll try it again. That was... Oh, I really thought that was going to be a lot of fun. I guess not. Now, this should be done. Thank you. So, this can now be crafted. I've forgotten the crafting recipe already, so I'm just kind of winging it. I'm just hoping for the best. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! All right, then. So I am going to need some glass cables, which shouldn't hopefully be too much of a hassle. It is quite a distance though, so I will need quite a few of these. I will of course use the silver so I get a better ratio. But let's see here. How many diamonds do we have floating around? None. Okay. How many could I afford to make? Unfortunately, if I make a big request, it's going to make the Philosopher's Stone to try and complete it. So if I do this, it's going to try and make four Philosopher's Stones, which in itself actually takes diamonds, doesn't it? So I'm only going to be able to request one at first. Come on. What do you mean missing 202 diamonds? Okay, there might... Oh, there's a crafting loop. 
Okay, that's a problem. Okay, that's actually a very serious problem that might take more time than I have to actually fix. So something is wrong with my automated transmutation. It might be because I'm transmuting both ways, so it's actually looping around trying to create itself. So I might have to get rid of that in some way. Perhaps I'll just allow the upgrading two diamond or just the other way. Or I might use two different pipes that access it differently. Either way would work. I'm thinking the two different pipes might be the way to go. So if I need more diamonds, I can request it, and then I'll have to throw it into my sorting system. It's more convoluted, but it's probably the way to go. Or perhaps probably the best way is to allow upgrades upwards, so to gold and to diamond, but if I want it the other way, that requires a specialized pipe. That, yeah, that's the way I'll go. But anyway... I will go ahead and grab that silver while I'm here. Is that it? No, that's tin. Silver, here you are. Okay, I don't know how much I need. Let's just let's grab a stack. Why not? It goes into the chest anyway. I don't have to wait around for it. But not having those diamonds is a little bit of a pain. But not the end of the world. Because I can just request it normally and stick it in the transmutation tablet like a... Oh! Never mind. Never mind. Okay, I'll just grab that and just chuck me a whole bunch of glass. Thank you. Okay, I probably should... Wow, I didn't know I had that much in there. Okay, well yeah, that, that's definitely going to do the trick. In fact, this gold... This gold can just go straight back in. No use for that whatsoever. Now that's nearly done. Okay. Now, where did you go crafting recipe? Did I forget the redstone? No, no, no. Different recipe. Uh, close call. Okay, overlay. Silver. Glass. Wait. Am I actually short on the glass? Because that would be rather entertaining. No, no, that's fine. Okay, we go ahead and bam. 48 should definitely do the trick. Don't want to waste too many diamonds just on glass fiber cables. Especially when the glass fiber cables are admittedly complete overkill. I definitely... Well, I don't need them, actually. They do carry more power than is necessary at all. I'm not using high voltage. But they definitely are the coolest kind of cable. So let's just go ahead and drop with it. Hope for the best. And... Oh, it's fine. I can jump that high anyway. Oh, come on. No, I want to get rid of that. Oh, there we go. Now, I need to get this all the way over to here, unfortunately. Good thing I made so many. This is where the power comes in. This is the transformer that I will now be getting rid of. Do I mine these, or do I use... i probably use the wrench. Either way, I should be safe and test it. And I'm just going to risk it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, there we go. And I'll just connect it up. You can hear my machines have completely shut down. So many cables. Wow, I only just made the right amount in the end. But okay, here we are. And bam. Was that the correct... No, that's pretty much completely in reverse. And, whoa, 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 whoa. If I actually had that the right way, I think all my machines would have exploded. Let's just... Yeah, they would have. Well done, Stray. Well done. Switch that around so everything will be fine. And now it's okay. Oh dear, that was so close. Okay, so now the energy will be coming in from the MFE. But unfortunately, it's only going to be passing power down here at 128. And I don't think it's crossing 40 blocks. If it is, it will not be completely efficient, and I'll be losing a 128th 
of my total power. Honestly, I don't care. <laughs> but it's also getting the energy from the steam engines. So it's still better, but it's not enough to run this, apparently. Why? What in the world is it building that could be so resource intensive? Oh, four furnaces, four macerators. That does make sense. Okay, never mind. Never mind. That is actually rather reasonable. Fair enough. Okay, now while I'm here, I do still have that power crystal, don't I? Or whatever crystal they're called. Oh no, I turned it into the Lapatron. Ah, okay, well it is time to leave. Not the episode, but that little segment there. Getting power to my machines. Get inside, something's going to kill you. Just go in there. Yep. Get in the door. Go. 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 Thank you. Thank you. So, the thing I was going to set up was the darn overflow system that I keep forgetting about. So, it will actually have to require a complete overhaul of the sorting system. Probably should have mentioned that, that it's not a very small thing to do. But in the end, it is actually rather simple. Basically, in order to do it, all I need to do is make sure that there is the default route for the item to go into the chest, but also the option for it to go somewhere else. Now, I believe the simplest way to do that is to use advanced insertion, but whenever I use that, something goes terribly wrong. Literally every time. So is there regular insertion? That would be great. There is. Okay, that's more like it. This is what I'm going to be using instead. So all it requires is stone transport and redstone, and that will make it so much easier for me. So I will just go ahead and set this up. I'm going to have to go make them, unfortunately. I probably should have checked that first. But okay. Stone transport, or was it cobblestone? Ah, stone transport. Dang it. Hate making those things. And I'm just going to need plenty of redstone. Now, I won't need too many of these straight away, but I will need a lot of them in the long run. So, can I request a whole heap of stone? No, I have to cook it myself. That's great. That is great. Oh, I didn't check on the hummus situation either. I'm hoping everything's okay. There is one hummus in here, so that is a good sign, I hope. I'm kind of just hoping for the best. It'll, it'll be fine. Probably. Maybe. Okay. Let's take that out. Take out everything else as well. Oh, I hate waiting for glass. That'll do it. Stuff it. The rest can stay. I'm not waiting around for that to finish. We're running out of time here. Now... No. That's not where I'm going. I thought I should just check on that hummus before everything goes horribly wrong. How's the hummus going? Oh, look. Hummus seems to be going strong. Okay. Nope. Let me through. Better check on the roof. Uh, check on the roof. Okay, no, this is this is still terror. Oh, dang it. I'm sure somebody would have noticed this far before me. So, here we are. I might just want to set this up. It might help a little to actually have it set up. There we go. Frequency 19. There's the hummus. Wow, Stray, just wow. But okay, now that, that that is done, we can finally get on to what I was meant to be doing. Let's head inside and craft, nope, head downstairs and turn everything to stone. Dang it. Okay, to the portal room. Don't know why I'm calling it the portal room still, but that's no, fine. I guess we might as well set up the auto crafting of it just while we're here. Oh, we are out of time. I did everything but the one thing that I planned to do in typical stream out fashion. So I guess we'll do this tomorrow and set up the overflow. And hopefully, if we have enough time, we'll probably do a bunch of other things that I didn't plan as well. So I'll see you then, viewers. I hope you've enjoyed. Stream Ab signing off. Oh, 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 oh,